when you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. What of your content takes your prospect along a path, getting him or her to do what they need to do and you what you want them to do. Right. So what do you have that builds a system of introducing them to you and moving them right along a path? And this is almost why it's hard to, to really call things that we're talking about marketing. I mean, it's relationship building. It is. It's about how do you... <coughs> what did we say? It's the relationship It's stupid. the relationship stupid, right? Um, so you have to have thought this out. You have to create a map, essentially, because you can't wait till the person... You may be the best whatever. You know, you may be the best salesman, the best uh, psychologist, the best Accountant, landscaper, attorney. the best doctor. But the patient only knows that, the client only knows that when they've arrived in your office, well, it's too late by then. This is the world of the internet. People are searching actively for you out there. So what is the path that you're gonna create that meets them where they're searching in the comfort of their own home, sitting in, at the keyboard of their computer, meets them, greets them, brings them into a process, and then takes them by the hand and says, okay, here's what we're gonna do first. First, I need you to come over here, and here's what you do. And once you get there, they get a, the next set of instruction. Okay, now that you're here and you've done this, here's where we go next. And step by step, you lead them to your door where you can solve their problem. You're actually doing an assessment through this relationship building process. You're collecting information, you're giving information, and you're essentially training this person to become your ideal client, right. or you're weeding them out if they're not a good fit ahead of time so that you don't waste so much time meeting people, starting a relationship, only to have them leave, and, and you know that's a slot that you could have filled with an ideal client instead of you know somebody who really wasn't a good fit. And this really relates to a couple of the other questions that we have in this series of 25 questions. Um, are you getting the right kind of people seeing you? Are, do you have the right material out there, the material that you want to have out there? Do you look like what you want to look like when they search for you? Because we need to take them along that path, bring them in. So we're not talking about just flooding the market with right. anything that's written about you or any kind of sit down and say anything into a microphone. There really is a system that's needed here. So in your assessment, you want to see, okay, now that I see what's being said about me, and I'm somewhere on three pages, let's say at least, of Google search results, what is it that's being seen there? Are they being welcomed into my life? Am I helping them in their life? and taking them along that path. You know, it's one of the frustrations people have right now with social media. I mean, there's such a buzz, you gotta be in social media, you gotta do social media. But what people end up doing is just putting stuff out, putting stuff out, there's no real plan. There's no sense of having mapped out, well, what's this piece supposed to do in order to lead you to the next piece and so on down the line. So it is really about almost doing a map, a mind map of Definitely. point A to point Z, what do, you, what do you do? It's not just randomly pumping stuff out all the time. Exactly, so social media is a good one. So, the question is, are you... Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much, and that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So, we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So, join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these getfound101.com. Thank you.